Welcome back everyone. Today I'll be making chocolate cake pops and I have some chocolate cake that I'm mixing in my KitchenAid. I'm adding in just a little bit of frosting. This is probably be about two tablespoons. And mixing it in until it all combines. I'm using a little mini scooper. I'm scooping it out on a parchment paper on a tray. And then I'm just going to roll them between my hands, making them into a ball. You will need to put these in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. And I'm using Wilton Candy Melts. I'm using about 6 ounces right here. I used a microwave to melt them in 30 second intervals. It took me about 1 minute, 30 seconds each time. And I'm mixing it up with the residual heat. It is a little bit thick, so I'm using some paramount crystals. And this is about 1 teaspoon per 6 ounces. Now you want to prepare all of your cake balls with the lollipop stick with the candy melt. And if you notice that your cake balls are getting a little bit soft, stick them back into the fridge. And this part is probably the longest. And lightly tap by the side any excess candy melt. Then you want to make sure that you add on any sprinkles or decoration before the candy melt dries and place it in a cup. Once the chocolate sets up, you can place them in a mini cupcake liner or you can place them in this nice Wilton cake pot bag with this nice ribbon. Once I'm done packaging all my cake pops, they must be stored in the refrigerator. And this is it. I hope you like my chocolate cake pops. See you next time. Bye!